In this second KP video, I'm going to look at calculations involving the total pressure. So very simply, if we've got an equilibrium system where we've got A and B in equilibrium with C, all gases, all exerting their partial pressure, the total pressure, so the pressure of this whole system, will be the sum of the partial pressures. So we'll go straight into a calculation on this. We've got this equilibrium system. It's actually found in the contact process used to make sulfuric acid. So two moles of sulfur dioxide and a mole of oxygen in equilibrium with two moles of sulfur trioxide. So we're given the total pressure of the system and the partial pressures of the sulfur dioxide and trioxide. So from that, we need to calculate Kp and state its units. So if you want to have a go, pause the video and I'll go through the answers. So obviously the first thing we need to do is write the expression for Kp. So that's going to be the partial pressure of sulfur trioxide squared all over the partial pressure of sulfur dioxide squared multiplied by the partial pressure of the oxygen. So to calculate Kp, we need to know all the partial pressures. Well, we know two of them but we also know the total pressure. So that total pressure of 120 kilopascals is equal to the 33 kilopascals plus the 39 plus the partial pressure of the oxygen. So if we get them over there, we can calculate partial pressure for oxygen and that comes out at 48 kilopascals. So now we know all the partial pressures, we can substitute their values into the Kp expression. So you can see I've done that there. And that gives me a numerical value for Kp at 0 0.029. So the units, we've got kilopascals squared on the top and kilopascals cubed on the bottom. And so we're going to be left with 1 over kilopascals. So it's kilopascals to the negative 1. 